During the APEC dialogue on environmental goods and services held in Boracay, the Philippines confirmed its commitment to green growth, build sustainable and resilient communities and businesses. Joining us now on Metro Quadrado is Mr. Raymond Rufino, Chairman of Philippine Green Building Council, to talk more about building green communities. Hi, Raymond. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank so you for what having is a, me. First, what is a green building, and this time, a green community? Sure. A green building is, is basically a structure or a building that's been designed, constructed, and operated in a green manner, which is ecologically sensitive um, to the environment. So a green community, therefore, is a community of buildings and, and facilities that embody all of these same green and sustainable principles. Now, the Philippine Green Building Council actually created a mm. national rating system, Correct. or the BERDE. Yes. How come we had to create our own um, our own rating system yes. as compared to just adopting the international So standards. the Philippine Green Building Council is an emerging member of the World Green Building Council, which is an umbrella global organization of 100 national green building councils. And the mandate of the World Green Building Council is for each national green building council to develop their own rating tool. The reason for this is they understand that not all rating tools work in all places. There are a lot of differences country to country in terms of national regulation, local ordinance, um, climate, um, normal business practice. So taking a rating system from another country and applying it immediately to another country is sometimes very challenging and difficult. So they wanted each national green building council to develop their own to make sure that the market could adapt and, and use a rating tool that was really beneficial for them in their market. So what's the significance of a green building to the owners or yeah. the users <clears throat> of a building? Well, I think the green building, you know, the conversation used to be that green buildings are efficient. So the owners and the people staying there would get lower energy costs, lower, lower water bills, and it would be a lower cost to operate and be in that particular building. But what we're finding out now with the World Green Building Council is that the conversation has moved toward green buildings are actually healthier, more productive workplaces and places where people can live and that the people who stay in these places end up even being more healthy and, and being more well than those who live and work in non-green buildings. So it's good not only for the business owners but for the employees as well. Absolutely. How about for investors? There seems to be a trend going yeah. towards investment, <clears throat> towards um, green, what they call green bonds yes. or stocks or that have underlying assets that are more towards um, targeting towards more sustainable growth. Yes. What is your outlook on that? I think for a lot of investors, there is a global trend where investors are becoming more conscious about their investment decisions. A lot of funds and investors now have mandates to look at sustainability as part of their investment criteria. You have um, things like the GIA, uh, GRESB, which is the Global Real Estate Sustainability Benchmark, which basically rates and gives uh, measurement of how green portfolios are around the world. So investors know when they make investments how green these investments could be. Of course, we want those investments to come here, but yes. how far are we in terms of creating these green communities? Do we have one already in the Philippines? Um, we don't have one yet. So as the Philippine Green Building Council, we believe in certification. So we don't believe in anyone just claiming to be green. We feel that you have to be certified in order for the public to really be assured that you are really embodying all of these green and sustainable principles. Um, several cities however are on their way um, you know, cities have developed green building programs green building codes and i think we're going to start seeing some real green communities in the very near future one thing that discourages some um, people from <clears throat> undertaking or going for green buildings is the cost everyone yes. thinks that it's more expensive yeah. is it more expensive okay my answer there is this is the very common question i get from a lot of people is it can be more expensive but it doesn't have to be so the way the green building rating system for us, BERD is structured, it's a star system. So you can go from one star, which is basic certification, up to five star. Obviously, if you go for a five star, you're going for a much better quality building. The costs will, will increase, but the, the rationale for that is you are getting a much higher spec building, much higher quality um, building at the end. Whereas if you go for just the basic, this is very much in line with what a lot of people are doing already in the marketplace. Um, my second point is, it's really about being creative because it's a point system. You can choose what you want to do in your building to make it green. So because you have this menu of options, you can basically choose which ones will give you the most benefit for your peso. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you just have to spend a lot of money. If you choose wisely where you spend the money, you can achieve green without having to, to, to entail a lot higher cost. And there is supposed to be some long-term savings as well. Yes. So the cost of ownership over the long term will really be much lower because green buildings are very efficient. I think you're also future proofing your building because the, all of the users in the future will start demanding for this in their buildings. If you don't make, create a green building today in the future, 
you might lose potential customers, potential buyers, because they might not want to come to your building because it's not green. 